Hi everyone, this is Elena Kraus and welcome to another Hero Arts video tutorial. In this video we'll look how to transform a regular two-dimensional die cuts into pop-ups. So uh, I'll be working with two dies. You can work with any dies you want. You can transform pretty much any die into a pop-up. So I'm using the Dragonfly Fancy die. I uh, won't be using the frame. I'll just use the intricate intricate die cut along with the sunflower paper layering die. I'll use only the flower and the leaves and without the stem. So I will die cut uh, two dragonflies out of the pool paper, one from black and one from vellum. And the second dragonfly from the pool paper will use for the front of the card. And the ones that for the pop-up they'll be scored uh, in the middle. So they're like when you fold them in half, they're, they're symmetrical. For the vellum and the pool, we have a valley fold and for the black, we have a mountain fold. As well, I already die cut the sunflower. I did two. Uh, the darker yellow, I fold it in half um, in valley fold and the lighter one, I did mountain fold. And then I die cut some of the leaves from the foil Edge, uh, layering papers. So next I'm using a black note card and I have two pa panels of pool paper that I will adhere in the middle because I didn't really want the middle to be white. I wanted more kind of color to be like the sky or something more to go with that uh, sunflower and dragonfly to look it more appealing and when you open the card. As well you can stamp a sentiment inside if you want. I prove I recommend if you're stamping a sentiment in the middle to stamp that before you do your die cut. So I'm just uh, putting together that uh, pop-up for the flower. So I'm uh, cutting the center out of that uh, lighter yellow and I'm creating two tabs while I'm cutting on the sides. So you have the um, mountain fold on that one and then the tabs go on the sides and then I'll adhere it. So that um, tabs go inside under that center. So that will create that um, when you close the card that the center will go uh, up and the base of the flower will go down. So next we're creating the dragonfly pop-up. So from the black uh, we're creating the body. That one has the mountain um, fold and then the wings. I'm just cutting off the head and the rest of the body and from the black I cut out the wings I just left little um, tabs on the side and now I'm like cutting little slits so for the wings I'm cutting them from the top side of the wings and for the body I'm cutting them from the bottom so this will allow us, allow us to interlace those two parts so we create that pop-up mechanism so I'm just uh, cutting a little bit of a time and then trying to interlace those together. Just being very careful to not tear the wings apart because it's very intric intricate dye. So you'll need to be uh, more careful. If you do it more solid dyes, die cuts, this will be, uh, you don't need to be as much as careful. I still recommend to be careful enough. So I'm just working that uh, together. So next I'll just trim a little bit off there. So we created that mechanism and now I'm just adhering those little tabs to the wings. So when we close and open the card, uh, the dragonfly uh, doesn't fall apart. So I just place some strong adhesive and kind of cut off those um, excess from the black uh, cardstock and I placed uh, acrylic block on top to make sure that it dries up uh, nicely. So next I'm adhering and just cut out the wings from the vellum and I'm adhering it on the base of the pool wings. So that way it doesn't interfere with that pop-up mechanism that we already created. So I'm just securing those in place and I'll let it aside to dry. So now we can work onto that flower, adhering that flower in the middle. So here is the, you can notice how that uh, center pops up. 
So I just adhere it one adhere it one side, then I place adhesive on the other side and close the card. So you see how that uh, middle pops up when you try to close the card. So next I'm applying adhesive on that crease uh, on the wings on the bottom and I'm adhering on the crease on the center of the flower. I'm just going to hold it in place. I'm using very strong liquid adhesive. I'm using a uh, Ranger Distress Medium. You can use any other strong adhesive. So you make sure that you hold that nicely until it dries. And next I'm adhering those um, leaves in the middle. So here like our pop-up is done. So I'm now adding some um, decor well, not really decoration, I just wanted to finish off the card and I'm adding some um, white iridescent shimmer spray. I just put a few drops on acrylic block and I'm next using a paintbrush to color my butterfly, my dragonfly, I apologize. So I'm doing the same for the second uh, dragonfly that will go on in front of the card. So I'm, I just left that pop-up open while everything dries um, dry so we're not smooshing everything together and having that uh, paint everywhere. So next I'm adding some embellishments. Um, the, pit, uh, the pool rhinestones onto the dragonfly and next I'm using the dragonfly die cut to uh, dry emboss some dragonflies on that snow layering panel snow layering paper panel. So you can see those um, kind of looks more like letterpress. So I have another die cut of the sunflower and the leaves and because this goes on top of the on front of the card I'm using some butter uh, butter bar ink to sponge around the center and orange soda for the actual flower. So I'm just popping those um, petals out as well from the center of the flower. I'll hear those together. So I'll let that dry and in the meantime I'll sponge add some uh, forever green ink um, using the ink blending tool onto my leaves and then I'll do I'm um, using the um, agent bold ink to add some color onto that dragonfly to have more more to add more interest. Next I'm stamping a sentiment from the Wishing Well um, stamp set onto black layering paper. I use Versamark and next I'm applying some detailed white embossing powder and just heat setting it. So using my paper trimmer I'll trim uh, this to very thin strip, uh, trim off the ends and next we can put that panel together, arrange all the elements so I'm starting with the flower. I'll adhere it in the corner and then just using my scissors I'll trim out the ends. I'll adhere my uh, leaves. Again trim off the excess. So for the dragonfly I'm using little uh, dimensional tape as well as for uh, the sentiment. So here's everything adhered. I'm using T ruler to make sure that everything is lined up. And just again making sure that that pop-up opens and closes nicely. So adhere that on top and here is my finished card. Here's the pop-up. It closes and it opens. Close and open. I have a lot of fun playing with those. So here's a little close-up to that uh, pop-up piece in the middle. Thanks for watching and see you soon in another video. In meantime, don't forget to subscribe to the Hero Arts YouTube channel and visit the Hero Arts blog. Thanks for watching. Bye.